Hi, this is Chris Longo, and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, the Student Pace Classroom, which is something that I've been doing in my class for a couple of years now. Um, I work at Warren Township High School in Gurney, Illinois, and I would like to tell you a little bit about how my classroom works. So what is a Student Pace Classroom? It's actually exactly how it sounds. Um, students will take control of the class. So at the beginning of the semester I'll give them some deadlines of when they should be taking quizzes and tests um, and they do have to finish the semester before the final exam but they really get to choose which way works best for them um, so I just pretty much take a back seat and I pretty much coach them and guide them if they need me so I'm always here I'm always available for help or for them to ask questions but basically, they just kind of work at their own pace and do what they want to do. Um, it's also really good for differentiation of instruction um, because students actually get to choose what works best for them. Um, and there's a lot of extra time for one-on-one -on -one help if students need it. There's time for group work. Uh, students can watch videos. Students can work on practice problems. There's all sorts of different things students can be doing in every given class period so I never really know what to expect and it's really awesome to see and I'll give you the opportunity at the end of the video to see what a typical day might look like um, because there is no such thing as a typical day um, so what the students will learn besides math in my class uh, they will learn responsibility um, they will learn to hold themselves accountable they will learn time management skills because they really get to pick and choose what they want to do on a given day. Um, they learn to be proactive because students have reported that laziness is the biggest reason that they struggled in this class. So I tell my students all the time, as long as you're working hard, you'll be fine. And that is very true. Um, students have mentioned that this class has cured them of being lazy because they realize really quick that not working hard is not exactly going to get it done in my class. Um, they learn how to prepare. So students work harder. They ask more questions um, of me and other students in the class. Um, and many have actually reported on surveys that they feel more prepared for college. Um, at the end of every year I give surveys and I'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Um, they learn how to self-assess themselves. So they also get to choose their own quiz and test days. So students will actually say, Mr. Longo, I want to take my quiz tomorrow. Or can I take my test today? And they have to determine for themselves if they are ready or not. So if they feel like they're ready, they can take a quiz or a test. If they feel like they're not quite prepared and they would like another day, then they can choose to take another day. And they will also learn how to work successfully in groups. Most students will choose to work with a partner or like a small group of three or four and work together and it'll keep them honest with one another and they'll say, all right, tonight we're going to do this, this, and this and we'll touch base tomorrow on this. Um, or let's try to be prepared to take our quiz on Friday so we don't have to do anything or whatever they choose to do. It's really awesome to see that students are working together to create a plan that works best for them. So here's some of the student feedback. Um, and this is just out of the results from two years worth of classes. Um, I did it for three classes last year and three classes the year before that. So I've given this survey to six total classes and I am going to do it again in three classes this year and so far we'll find out you know how it goes but they'll be surveyed at the end. Um, but 78 percent of students prefer this student paced model in comparison to flipped or traditional. Now flipped would still be a flipped classroom but everything is still on you know a timeline. Everyone does the same videos on the same nights and does the same stuff in class the next day um, and then there's 14 percent that still prefer the traditional classroom which is where I used to stand in front of the class and just teach day by day and then they would go home to do all of their homework. So students, by the time they've got to this model, have experienced all three methods because I always start with at least one chapter in any given school year of the regular flipped classroom 
So students learn how to take good notes on videos, what they should be doing in class. So I give them a minimum of one, sometimes two units to get used to the idea of the flipped model before we jump into student paste. So when they take these surveys, um, they have had the opportunity to experience all three and overwhelming majority of students prefer this method. Um, why do they like it? Well, they say it's because of the flexibility, the collaboration, and many have reported it's less stressful. And reasons why is because many students will say that they're in sports and clubs. Um, so maybe they have a late night basketball game or it's an away game. Or maybe they play hockey and finding a hockey rink is not always easy. So there have been some of my students that report that they don't get home from practice until midnight. Um, because of when the ice time is available. So students that have extracurriculars sometimes say that they really appreciate the, flat, the fact that they can go to their away game, come home late at night, and not have to worry about taking a quiz first period in the next morning when they're tired. Um, they can take an extra day. Um, many students have also said that they're in multiple honors or AP courses, and there's a lot of quizzes and tests so they feel it's nice that they don't have to take a test on the same day so they can um, have more time to study. Uh, missing a class or an extra day to study again is one of some of the reasons why you know they like the flexibility. Um, they learn to work in groups and their partners keep you motivated. The less stressful part a lot of that goes on with the whole deadline things. Now some students have reported that it's more stressful for them at the beginning because they're not used to having the flexibility to do what they want. They like people to tell them what to do. Um, but once they get used to it, many of them say that, oh yeah, I was just nervous at the beginning. I really like it now. Uh, now there are some challenges to a model like this. Um, you have to be extremely organized. So I now have student file folders that stay in my classroom because I never know when students are gonna take a quiz, take a test, whatever. Um, so they get to keep their stuff in one place so it's easy for them to find. Um, as a teacher, you have to plan ahead. You have to have multiple chapters ready because some students will work quicker than others. I have had students finish you know, two, two and a half weeks ahead of schedule that were very motivated and wanted to get done so they can spend more time on some of their other classes. In the classroom, you need to have plenty of materials. You need to have multiple versions of quizzes and tests. Because if a student takes a test one day and then three days later you're going to have more students taking tests, you want to make sure that the tests are secure um, and they're not already out. So you need to have multiple versions. Plenty of notes and videos on, on YouTube. I use YouTube and uh, Canvas for my learning management system. And I need to have everything ready for students so they can go watch the videos to learn the material. And you have to have plenty of practice problems with answer keys so students can check to make sure they're doing things correctly. Another challenge is the professional student. Again, there will be students that just want to be told what to do and when to do it. And it's tough for them to give, you know, give in to the fact that they have to really plan for themselves. And for teachers, a lot of times it's difficult just giving up control. I mean, for years, you have been control of your, uh, of your class. You've been in control. You tell the students what to do. And sometimes it's pretty difficult to just say, all right, guys, you know what? Get to work. Do what you need to do. Um, so giving up control is sometimes tough. But after I did it for a little bit, it's like having a car with heated leather seats. I will not go back. Um, what is a typical day? Um, you never really know. Kids can be quizzing, testing, watching videos, working together in groups, asking questions, working on other classwork. Um, and also, you have time for projects. Uh, there's a, I let my students present on something they enjoy. I let them present on something that they'd like to know more about. And I have a few other ideas for this year that I would like to do, like group activities or challenges. Um, so I'm going to show you what a class looks like and fast forward um, in just a few minutes. Management, again, I said I use Canvas, which is a learning management system. Now there's other ones out there. Um, but basically, students work through modules for me so I can give them quizzes to check for understanding. So in Canvas, you can actually set your lessons at different points, and you can make them 
pass little practice quizzes before they are allowed to move on to the next topic. Okay, so how would you get started doing this? Um, I would say start with flipping for sure because it's going to take some time to create videos. Um, even better, find a buddy or a team that you would like to work with and you can share the amount of workload. So you have to have pretty much an entire semester worth of videos planned out for these students to use, okay? Um, so again, that is my presentation. I will show you that video um, on what my class looks like. So, But if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Let me get that video ready for you now. And here we go. So this is what my classroom looks like. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting at my desk right now, and what I'm doing is I am passing back quizzes and tests to students that took them the day before and I go over them with them one-on-one -on -one and show them where they went wrong so they can improve for the next time. You also see that there's some students sitting on their Chromebooks watching videos and taking notes. Um, towards uh, the right hand side over here we have some students working on their practice problems in groups. Um, they're checking their answers. Um, again over here on the right side as well. Um, it's kind of tough to see, but over here we do have a couple of students in those rows actually taking quizzes. So there are a whole bunch of different things that can be going on in my classroom at any given time. So it's, it's just a, a lot of fun. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I just wanted to give you guys uh, the opportunity to kind of see what I do. Um, so that's it. So thank you for watching, and this is Longo, and I'm out. See you. Bye.